different boards. Our Artos, it's the full Artos, right? Yes. Is running on the Seedwino. And the sonars are communicating with the Arduino. And between the Arduino and the Seedwino, I2C. This board communicates with the radio, which we're not using right now. It also communicates via I2C with the Seedwino. We have four sonar, one, two on this side, two on that side. We also have collision detection in the front by uh, one IR sensor and two IR proximity sensors. We have a brushless DC motor for thrust. We find it's a, it's a lot easier to control if we're pulling than it is if we're pushing. And we have the same type of fan and motor for, for lifting. We have a vertical lift fan so we don't induce uh, turning. This fan right now is disconnected because we found that we don't need it for control, but it is connected to an H-bridge and will enable our craft to uh, rotate on the spot. To make things simple, put in this potentiometer so we can control the speed of the thrust. So this is a semi-autonomous hovercraft. Oh, there's the obvious problem of detecting non-motion, and so we've decided to use human intervention to detect non-motion. So we're going to power it up and uh, follow this wall, which will be on the right. Demo the one state of following a wall on the right rather than searching and switching walls and stuff like that. So right now we're going to be running at about 60% power maximum, uh, and we don't need any more than that. It's a bit loud, so I won't talk to anyone out. A distance of 60 centimeters from the wall. That's not going to be good for it. <laughs> I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. I got a little bit confused because there's a door there. So that's the end of the wall that we're trying to follow. <laughs> We're going to move it over here to another wall. So we're going to try wall folding again, but at a higher speed to just to see how that works. that it oscillated a little bit, fine-tuning to do with the, with the control. Um, it also got stuck earlier because there was an open door which uh, caused it to think that the wall um, was going the other way, and obviously it wasn't. But all in all, our wall following, following uh, works okay. I'm particularly happy with the setup of pulling with the servo fan. I think that's, that's a, a good way to go for autonomous control. Uh, do it one more time. This is 15 seconds max power. <laughs> Too late. Okay, stop it. <laughs> 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 have two computer fans in series for lift add the, their pressure differentials so we can have more pressure under the skirt of the hovercraft. So you 
start. We've got a gyro to control the servo. So I just need to move this around like this. It looks like we're ready to go. So you can see the skirt's not even fully inflated. Whoa. <laughs> I lost communication. Oh, I thought you were just so, showing up. The only reason why this thing stopped was because it spun so hard that it threw its own batteries. <laughs> Whew.